Worst NHL GMs, Ken Holland of the Detroit Red Wings. Ken Holland was the GM of the Detroit Red Wings from 1997 to 2019, but his legacy in Detroit was based off inheriting the team that GMs before him had built. Holland is credited with putting together three Stanley Cup teams, but he ultimately destroyed the team's cap by trying to win with their aging core. Here are some of the worst moves that Ken Holland made and what I would do to fix them. Here are some of his worst trades since 2012. Acquiring Kyle Quincy from the Tampa Bay Lightning for Sebastian Piche and a first round pick in 2012. Acquiring David Leguan from the Nashville Predators for Callie Yarncroft, Patrick Eves and a third round pick in 2015. Acquiring Eric Cole and a conditional third round pick in 2015 from the Dallas Stars for Matthias Janmark, Matthias Backman and a 2015 second round pick. Trading Pavel Dotsuk and a conditional 2016 first round pick to the Arizona Coyotes for Joe Vitale, a first round pick in 2016, and a 2016 second round pick. Undoing the worst trades, Detroit do not acquire David Leguan, Eric Cole, and Kyle Quincy. They also don't trade Pavel Dotsuk as a cap dump. Holland also made his fair share of draft mistakes as well. In 2012, he drafted Martin Furk, 49th overall, Jake Patterson, 80th overall, Andres Athanasiu, 110th overall, and Michael McKee, 140th overall. In the 2012 draft, the Detroit Red Wings should have drafted Andre Vasilevsky, 19th overall, Colm Perenko, 49th overall, Issa Lindell, 80th overall, Jacob Slavin, 110th overall, and Connor Brown, 140th overall. In the 2013 draft, he drafted Zach Nastaschuk, 48th overall, and David Pope, 109th overall. They should have drafted Jake Gunsell, 48th overall, and Ryan Graves, 109th overall. In the 2014 draft, he drafted Dominic Turgeon, 63rd overall, Christopher N, 106th overall, and Chase Perry, 136th overall. In the 2014 draft, he should have drafted Braden Point, 63rd overall, Devon Taves, 106th overall, and Sammy Blaze, 136th overall. In the 2015 draft, he drafted Evgeny Sveshnikov, 19th overall, Joran van Poltenberghi, 110th overall, and Che Pearson, 140th overall. At the 2015 draft, the Detroit Red Wings trade pick 19 to the Arizona Coyotes for picks 30 and 32. Then the Red Wings trade pick 32 to the Boston Bruins for picks 37 and 52. In the 2015 draft, he should have drafted Sebastian Ajo, 30th overall, Rope Hintz, 37th overall, Rasmus Anderson, 52nd overall, Kirill Kaprizov, 110th overall, and Troy Terry, 140th overall. In the 2016 draft, he drafted Giovanni Smith, 46th overall, Alphonse Malmstrom, 107th overall, and Jordan Sambrook, 137th overall. Detroit still has their own first round pick in the 2016 draft since they didn't make the Pavel Datsuk trade. In the 2016 draft, he should have drafted Jacob Duturin 16th overall, Sam Girard 46th overall, Ross Colton 107th overall, and Jesper Bratt 137th overall. In the 2017 draft, he drafted Michael Rasmussen 9th overall, Gustav Lindstrom 38th overall, Andre Archibakan 70th overall, Lane Zablocki 79th overall, Zachary Gallant 83rd overall, and Malti Zetkov 100th overall. At the 2017 draft, the Detroit Red Wings trade pick 70, 79, and 83 to the Anaheim Ducks for pick 50. In the 2017 draft, he should have drafted Nick Suzuki, 9th overall, Jason Robertson, 38th overall, Uko Pekka Lukonen, 50th overall, and Jeremy Swayman, 100th overall. Here are some of his worst signings. Signing Johan Franzen to an 11-year deal worth $3.95 million per season, Justin Abdelkader to a 7-year deal worth $4.25 million per season, and Jonathan Erickson to a 6-year deal worth $4.25 million per season. Signing Franz Nielsen to a 6-year deal worth $5.25 million per season, Steven Weiss to a 5-year deal worth $4.9 million per season, and Darren Helm to a 5-year deal worth $3.85 million per season were also bad signings as well. Detroit also does not re-sign Dan DeKaiser. In order to let the young players that the Red Wings drafted play, the Red Wings won't be signing any of the previously mentioned players. Additionally, Detroit should have tried to trade Zetterberg and Dotsuk before they lost their trade value. So in the 2015 offseason, a few major trades are made. Detroit Red Wings trade Pavel Datsuk to the New York Islanders for Ryan Strom, Calvin DeHaan, a first round pick in 2015 and a second round pick in 2017. They also trade Henrik Zetterberg to the Vancouver Canucks for Jacob Markstrom, a first round pick in 2015 and a first round pick in 2017. Jimmy Howard is traded to the Buffalo Sabres for Joel Armia and a second round pick in 2016. 
Additional draft picks are used to select Brock Besser, Anthony Bavillier, Jordan Cairo, Robert Thomas, and Mario Ferraro. Some more trades are made before the 2018-19 season. Detroit Red Wings trade Anthony Mantha to the Pittsburgh Penguins for Brandon Tanev, Jared McCann, and a first round pick in 2019. Detroit also acquires Seth Jones from the Columbus Blue Jackets for Ryan Strome, Robbie Fabry, Philip Pronock, and a first round pick in 2019. Nick Bonino and Anthony Bavillier are traded to the Dallas Stars for Radek Foxva and a second round pick in 2018. Calvin DeHaan and Connor Brown are traded to the Buffalo Sabres for Brandon Gooley, a second round pick in 2018 and a second round pick in 2020. Jared McCann and Troy Terry are traded to the Toronto Maple Leafs for a second round pick in 2018 and a third round pick in 2019. Jacob Markstrom is traded to the Washington Capitals for Vitek Vanacek and a first round pick in 2019. The Detroit Red Wings could have been a powerhouse team by the 2018-19 season. The first line is Jake Gunsel, Sebastian Ajo, and Robert Thomas. The second line is Tyler Bertuzzi, Dylan Larkin, and Brock Besser. The third line is Robey Hintz, Braden Point, and Jesper Bratt. The fourth line is Brandon Tanev, Radek Foxta, and Joel Armia. First D pair is Jacob Slavin and Seth Jones. Second D pair is Isla Dell and Colton Perenko. Third D pair is Devon Taves and Sam Girard. Goalies are Andre Veselevsky and Vitak Vanacek. Top prospects, forwards, Kirill Kaprizov, Nick Suzuki, Jason Robertson, Jordan Cairo, Sammy Blay. Defense, Rasmus Anderson, Ryan Graves, Mario Ferraro, Brandon Gooley. Goalies, Jeremy Swayman, Uko Pekka Lukonen. With the moves made here, the Detroit Red Wings would have been able to compete for cups in the next decade without having to go through an intense rebuild.